I'll never forget all the summer weekends going up to the cabin and fishing. Especially when we went to Brovold's and me and Kenny would always dominate Clayton and Benny in the fishing competitions. I'll always remember Garnett, and I'm sure all of you guys that met him will never forget the first time he slobbered all over you. He was a great dog. What I remember most about my childhood is dance. I started when I was two and a half and stuck with it until I graduated. Dancing taught me to be passionate in everything I do, but I couldn't have done it without all the love and support from my family. Some of my best memories are from playing at the state hockey tournament four years in a row with all my best buddies. From passing out in the elevator the morning of my first state game at the XL to taking third in state my senior year. Those were some great times. remember those long road trips stuck in the car with the whole fam family. Of course we were traveling for dance competitions but it was some of my most memorable moments I have. Those vacations were always chaotic and never a dull moment but always fun and enjoyable. I will cherish those memories forever. Jay and I met in high school and were always in the same group of friends. I remember the first time I almost met Mari. Me and Benny Brovold were at the football game and Abby Bukestead comes up and says, you guys have to meet this girl. So we go over where she was dancing and Abby just introduces Benny to her. Needless to say, I was a little mad at Abby. We ended up finally actually meeting in school. Our years at UND have been awesome. From sleeping in tiny twin lofted beds freshman year, to meeting some of our best friends, to running our first 10K together, and even taking on a new sport of rock climbing. There have been many late nights studying and hanging out with our friends. And Jay started an intramural hockey team with a bunch of Rozo guys, and it is always fun to watch him play. Months before spring break, we decided we were going to Cabo San Lucas. At that point, I decided that's where I wanted to propose to Mari. I knew I had to ask her dad, but I knew I had to wait until the last moment because their family does not know how to keep secrets very well. I waited till the morning that Darren was bringing us to the airport to ask him right before we got in the car. And he said yes. I walk outside to find my dad, Tom, and Jay drinking a Pacifico beer. And my dad had teary eyes. I go, what are you crying for? He said he wanted to have a little part of Mexico with me, since he wasn't coming with. It was in 
Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, when Jay got down on one knee. I was waiting for the perfect moment all week long. Jay and I went down to the pool early Thursday morning to go for a swim. Mari was too cold and didn't want to get into the water. After about a half an hour, my mom and Lauren came down. Angela kept asking me why I hadn't been in the water yet. I was so confused as to why she wanted me to go swimming so bad. Mari finally got into the water and we started watching the whales jumping in the ocean. It was the perfect moment. Since Mari is a little snoop and doesn't like surprises, my mom had to pack and keep the ring so Mari didn't find it in my bag. I had to quickly grab it from my mom while Mari was getting dressed that morning. I had no time to look at it, I just quickly put it in my pocket. So I tried grabbing the ring out of the pouch and it wasn't in there. So I started to freak out and I soon found out that there was a second pouch where the ring actually was. So Jay said my name and I turned around to find him on one knee. He said those magical words and of course I said yes. My family was so preoccupied watching the beautiful whales that they didn't even notice what happened. Mari was so surprised and said, everyone looks so oblivious. So we walked over to them and shared the good news. everyone who has helped us through this journey. We are so blessed to have such amazing friends and family who support us. We would like to give a special thanks to our bridal party for making this day that much better. And most of all, we would like to thank our parents for all your love and support that you have given us throughout the years. Without your help, this day would not have been possible. We love you all very much. And thank you all for coming. to be so take my hand